Okay, um, I'm going to talk about forms. Uh, try and do a, f a few videos, a series of videos, going from a very basic forms right to the more advanced ones. Bit similar to what I've done in previous uh, times, but it's still quite complicated. It seems for for quite a few of you. Um, on this um, here about the uh, comment about like security. To be totally secure, you really need the SSL, uh, like I said in that video, I'll put out the, uh, in the description of that video and where to get it. It was only one I did a few days ago. To have security on your website, um, unless you really sell things or you want things to be truly private, it's, it's not really going to be that much of a problem. Anyway, so... Um, and anyway, Bootstrap Studio website security, uh, Bootstrap Studio in itself doesn't have any security, but anyway, right, so we, we ourselves as designers and developers have to make them secure, um, or, we ha or we have to use a third party thing. Okay, right, um, so I'm going to go right from the very basics of forms to as, um, quick quick videos at first. Just to, so you know what's available. Okay, so on here, this is Bootstrap uh, Studio, the new version. So it's got Bootstrap 4 in. Okay, contact form claim. Okay, so you just drag that in there. So this here, at its very basic level. So all it has is your, your name, email, message. Okay. So what we do there is just again convert to html edit code and this one here won't be secure but i've seen quite a lot of web designers seemingly going back to this type of thing um but anyway of course if it's just a, a portfolio site and things like that you don't really need that much security nobody's going to get uh, if you think like a hacker nobody's really going to get anything out of it so you know, it's, it's a bit pointless for them to, to go near your site, really. Um, anyway, so we're just going to put action in here, right? I'll just zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. And this is all you have to do is go action equals. And on here, you have to put something called mail to. Mail to colon. And then I'm going to put my address in, but you can put whatever address you want in yourself. Yours, okay. Then be man at Yahoo uh, Hotmail. Do you can spell Hotmail? Mail dot co dot uk. Okay, so just put that on there. Right. Okay. So yeah, load this up and look in Edge. All right. So what we have now is. A contact form and this is as I say very basic there's no PHP or JavaScript involved in this it's purely HTML and a little bit of uh, default CSS and in, involved in this which I don't think is very much of that either but anyway so it's a really pure HTML form okay so what you could do is you put your name in you put your name in as Joel blogs email Blah blah at gmail com and you message uh, hi hello there and whatever you want to say okay so what that would do is just send okay so you get this box and this is on edge I'm not sure if it's on any of the others this form has been submitted using email submitting this form will reveal your email address to the recipient. And will send the form data without encrypting it for privacy. You may continue or cancel this submission. Um, let's have a look at this. You could look at something like this. This is a um, one, just a play around thing that I did many years ago. Okay, so you can look at this, and this encrypting thing here. You can actually put this in on here and again I'll go in so you can see what I'm doing and you can see that so what there is is 
encrypting type equals text playing okay quite honestly I personally think this is a waste of time but I'll try and give you every um, possibilities what's available to this thing anyway again Joe blogs blah 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 and hi there how are you and then you again you send and then it says understand the form data without encrypting it for privacy even when you put that in you know what I've just done there it still doesn't really you know encrypt properly so basically what you need is um, PHP to do that but this can this can work very well for people who are not that bothered about it. What it does though is it does this. It triggers your um, Hotmail or whichever you have for your mail client default. Um, and that is the thing when, you know, people are not interested in this type of thing. Okay. So that's basically what it does. Um, yeah. So the next one I'm going to do is going to be something that uh, is a little bit more advanced. Okay.